This is Matt for Into Boxing Diet for the first time to be joined by Pat Barrett. Pat, huge fight weekend for you. Zelfa Barrett gets a chance to fight for a world title. First off, before we talk about the fight specifics, how proud are you of Zelfa's journey, where he's come from to be here now on this big stage to be fighting for such a, a huge prize in boxing? Do you know what? I'm really proud. I mean, I mean, a lot of people don't realise where Zelfa's come from. I mean, what I mean by that is where he originally had come from. He only had 26 amateur fights. Uh, yeah. um, I, I, I got into promoting to, to, to keep up to make Zelfa's career much easier. Um, we got him to about 15 and 0 on the small all shows uh, before he really got noticed. And then from there, it's just took off and it's just been elevating. And, you know, it's like to see where he's come from, to be where he is now on this stage. And people thinking, I've always said to Zelfa, every fight is a world title fight. Yeah. So from fight one to where he is now, he's yeah. always had that in his head that every fight is a world title fight. So getting ready for something like this now is like, um, it's not about physically getting ready, it's yeah. about mentally preparing. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing we've already got, do you know yeah. what I mean? So we've already got that connection straight away. You mentioned um, the route he's gone down with the small hall shows and giving him that sort of season as, an, as a professional fighter. Do you believe that's the way to best way to build a fighter? Because we see a lot of fighters earlier in the career, sometimes they get thrust straight onto these type of shows and sometimes they can fall under the pressure. Do you think that Zelf has had that perfect seasoning to get him to this point? Like The preparation's been step by step and it's slowly built to this moment. I believe that I've done it the right way. I can't say what it would be like. I couldn't say to everybody that everybody should do this yeah. way. Yeah. I, the way I could say it is, look, what I did with Zelfa's career is what Brian Hughes did with my career. So yeah. I, laid him, I made him get the experience, the learning, the mistakes, anything that was going to happen, it, it happened where it was never mattered. Yeah. To the point is, is in the public eye now. So yeah. whatever mistakes it does, it's mattered. People will talk about it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So the only thing... I did is try to um, uh, make him more perfect as a pro coming up. So yeah. the lack of experience that he didn't achieve as an amateur, he made up as a pro. Yeah. So this is why he's had, what, 28 fights right about now yeah. and fighting for the world title. People think, well, hang on a minute, would he not be fighting for the world title? No, this is the time now. Yeah. This is the time now. Boxing is always about timing. You mentioned there something very key, and I think it's important in all these fights. It's not the physical side of it. Everyone here is, is in terrific shape. A lot of it's mental. I spoke to Zelfa yesterday. Obviously, it's well documented. It's been a tough 18, you know, 24 months for for you guys. How how is he sort of mentally coming into this fight? He seems he seems locked in when I spoke to him yesterday. I mean, of course. I mean, look. We've had a tough time, but we've all had to get through it. It's not just Zelf has had a tough time. No, uh, yeah. We've all had a tough time. It was my sister, it was Zelf's mum. We're all a very tight family, but we've all got each other mm -hmm. to get us through it. And as I said to you before, it's it's about a mindset. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in, 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 if you can get through stuff like this, you yeah. know, going into this fight and fighting for the world title, as I said, every fight, every world, every fight has been a world title fight. He yeah. fought for the English. It was a world title fight. He defended it. Yep. He fought for the Commonwealth. It was a world title fight. Mm -hmm. He defended it. Yeah. He fought for the European. Yep. And every step up he's done is improved. Uh -huh. And this is what I'm trying to say. It's his time now yep. after 28 fights. Yeah. Yep. Or is it 29 fights and one? Yeah. This is his time now. Have you sort of I ask a lot of fighters? Do you manifest what it's going to be like? Um, I asked him. He says, "Yeah, think about it. Think about how it'd feel to be world champion." But do you think about that as um, trainer, family member, sort of them? Emotions. It's important to not get carried away and think too far ahead. But have you sort of thought about that and how it'll feel? It'll be a proud moment for you guys. Oh, listen. At the end of the day, it, for them fighting for the world title is a proud moment. You know, yeah. Look, if you're going to fail, you fail at the top, yeah. not at the bottom. Okay. Some people die hard, trying hard. No, oh, we're not in there to try hard. We've, we've done it hard. This is yeah. the easy part. This is what a lot of people don't get. They get it twisted. Yeah. This is easy now. We're here, and it's easy. It's not, we get here and it, we make it harder. Yeah. We've done the uphill climb. Yeah. Now we just collect. Talks about his opponent, just quickly. Um, rack him off. Um, very good, very well-rounded fighter. What do you make of him coming into this fight? You know what? The thing what I make of Rack him off, look, this is what makes it um, a very good fight for us because it, we need someone like him in order to bring the best out of Zelfa, as yeah. he did when he fought for the European. 
you know, it's the it's the better fighters that bring out the be the better fight yep. within any fighter. Well, I know this kid is a good kid. Yep. I'm not going in there like it's an easy fight. Yep. I've done all my work as possible as I could. I know he's with Freddie Vulch from the wild card. Very good trainer. Yep. One of the best. Yeah. And he's also great at training southpaws. Look, he's done with Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows already. So I know that I'm up. I've got it. I've got my my hands full. I've got it up. Yep. I'm up against it. But it also inspires me as it does Zelfa yep. as a team. We work as a team, me and Zelfa. Yep. We've been together throughout all our lives. We speak the same language. There is no language barrier. Yep. They just come together, and everyone goes to Freddie to make them better. Zelfa doesn't need to do that. He's rounded yep. by me. I think I said yesterday, sorry, because I know we're coming close to the five minutes. I think I said yesterday to Zelfa, does it make it more sweeter, the fact that, you know, when you see these um, these vacant belts being fought for, sometimes it's against a guy who's heavily favourite and the guy in the rankings who's expected to get beat. This is just a terrific fight. This is a proper elite world title fight. Does that make it more sweet? Are you going in there with an opponent, sort of the calibre and how good Rakimov is? No, but like I said, we need this kind of thing. Zelfa's yeah. been sparred in world champion, Anthony Crowler, Scott Quigg. You know, he's been um, uh, uh, Josh Warrington. He's yeah. been helping them getting ready for world title fights from day one. Yeah. And that was before. Yeah. So he's always been that kind of elite fighter anyway. This is, like I said, this is only going to bring out the best of him. All the sparring he's done, all the fights. It's all going to be, come together. Well, Pat Barrett, thanks for giving us some of your time. I really appreciate it. Obviously, I'm sure everyone in the UK is going hard for Get Behind Zelfa Barrett. And we wish you all the best for Saturday night. Thank you.